for Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. Jaguars are sleek, fast, luxurious, and very soon a lot more of them will be electric. The British luxury brand announced plans to build electric vehicles, including the next version of the XJ luxury sedan, at its historic Castle Bromwich factory. Before this announcement, it wasn't clear if the posh four-door or the factory had a future. But with the next generation XJ going entirely electric to compete with cars like the Tesla Model S, Castle Bromwich has a new lease on life. Also only a few miles away, Jaguar is bringing to life a new battery plant that will have an annual production of 150,000 units. The facility is being co-developed between Jaguar and BMW, with the two automakers working together on future electric powertrains. I think it's sweet when car makers collaborate, especially if it means more electric cars. It's a wonder you've never before witnessed. Step right up and see the amazing, spectacular flying car. Several companies have flying cars in the works, but Japanese electronics firm NEC is among the first to demo a flying car to the public. Granted, this test flight was a little lackluster. We're talking a 10-foot liftoff, followed by about a minute of hovering, so not exactly production ready. Regardless, this test flight shows Japan is pushing hard to produce flying cars. In fact, the Japanese government wants vertical takeoff vehicles to start shipping packages and transporting people around its cities within the next 20 years. So next time you visit Tokyo, hop out of your honeycomb hotel, go shop for some clothes at a vending machine, and take a ride in a flying car to a kitten coffee shop. Ooh, you gotta love Japan. Depending on who you ask, we could be many years away from truly self-driving level five autonomous vehicles. But that hasn't kept Brooklyn Navy Yard and Optimus Ride from building a test fleet of six fully autonomous shuttles. So how, you might be wondering, is it okay to operate self-driving shuttles when the technology has yet to be cleared by US government regulations? Well, for starters, the fleet is operating between ferry docks and the Navy Yard entrance, which is private property, and therefore beyond the long reach of the law. As an added bonus, while the shuttles are truly level five autonomous, meaning they don't technically need a human on board, there will in fact be safety techs aboard just in case the robot drivers go rogue. So while it might be quite some time before everyone gets to snooze in fully autonomous cars on public roads, for now, if you wanna take a nap behind the wheel, just hop a ferry ride to the Navy Yard and that shuttle bench is practically yours. For more tech news, join us over at ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Click the link. Click the link to to catch the full episode. Yes. Is hair all good? Is hair all good? Thank you. Beep beep beep. Beep 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 beep. beep, 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 beep. What do you want? Jurassic Park theme song? Do 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 Where do we 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 I got the flu when I was in eighth grade and I was out of school for an entire week and the Monday that I was out my dad came home from work that evening and he had bought me Jurassic Park on VHS because it had come out that day and it was my favorite. I saw it in the theaters three times. So he gets me the VHS and I watched it every day while I was homesick to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Have been flying cars in the works? Yep, that's exactly what that says, Allison. Good job. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.